What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Smoking Bullets. Today, I'm about to show y'all my 2024 gun collection part one. Before the end of the year, I will do a part two. I have some more guns ordered, so the collection will be a little different, and I will give y'all an update before the ending of this year. But before we get started showing you the guns, today I'm smoking on a Don Pedro, Connecticut. It has the taste of uh, definite cocoa you can taste. It's not a flavored cigar, but you can taste it. Uh, a little bit of oak, but it's a smooth smoking cigar, uh, afternoon cigar, coffee drinking cigar. Eh, it's just a good cigar. So I definitely would recommend this cigar to anybody. Cause you know, if you got a good cigar and you have a good firearm, you're having a good day. But anyway, before we get started, I need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and share. It's real simple for y'all to do. Just click that button. It's going to help me out a lot. So, without further ado, let's get into the guns. All right, everybody. We're about to run through my 2024 gun collection. Let's start off with uh, Gearson. 1911. It's called the Regard. Picatinny rail. So you can put your flashlight, flashlight laser combo, whatever you decide. I haven't had a problem with them. Some people say they misfeed with cheap ammo, but I put about 500 rounds through here already, and I haven't had no issues with it. So I'm good with gear sign. Next is going to be my little Smith & Wesson 22 caliber. Got your little Picatinny rail too right there. This is for when I just want to waste a bunch of ammo to go shooting at the gun range. Or if I want to take my sons, let them hold this and just, you know, practice on their aiming, their firing, their trigger control. You can never go wrong with a 22. Cheap ammo, and this gun shoots like butter with it. So, there you go. Next one I got up is the SAR USA. Chamber to 9mm, I believe. Yeah, SAR 9 put about maybe a hundred rounds through here haven't really shot this one that much it's a good gun smooth shooter haven't had no issues with it next one we're gonna go to is my Beretta red dot on there I don't know if it's gonna pick it up but also also gotta have that tactical flashlight on there y'all let me know AP oh, excuse me APX See if y'all got one. See if you're thinking about getting one. Y'all let me know. Also, while I'm going through this, y'all let me know if any of the guns that I'm about to show y'all, y'all have. Drop it in the comments below. I want to know. Next one I got is the HK VP9 with laser light combo. Chambered in 9mm. You never go wrong with an HK. They already know they got a hell of a history so ain't really too much to talk about them next one up it's the M&P 9 Smith & Wesson tactical flashlight on it just in case you run out of bullets you can hit a bitch with the light get them up off you now let me know drop them comments Next one up is my Springfield Armory Echelon. I haven't had no problems with this either. Very smooth gun. You already know how Springfield get down. They don't bump out no cheap shit. So drop a comment, see if y'all got one. Next one up is the T-Sauce 1911. Well, 2011, whatever you want to call it. Wit, tactical light, laser combo. I haven't put no rounds through this, to be honest with you. I just got this one, so I'm really eager to take this to the range and see what this baby do. I heard a good, heard some good things about it. That's the only reason why I bought it. So I will do an update video on how this baby shoots. Next one up. It's the Glock Gen 4. Ain't too, many, ain't too really too much to talk about the Glock, man. You already know how Glocks get down. 
they don't fail they've been torture tested they've been battle tested so can't go wrong with a Glock next one up my six hour P320 just like with the Glocks SIG's been battle tested this chamber in nine millimeter P320 these are very popular I carry this with my EDC every now and then put about a thousand rounds through it had no problems with it next one up is my DH3 six hour P320 with the tactical flashlight on it red dot that grip is crazy I love it so no matter if your hands are wet muddy whatever you're not gonna lose this in your hand got it in the flat dark earth very popular gun once again you already know it's a SIG so ain't really too much to talk about them next one up is my Springfield Hellcat with the red dot on there haven't put no rounds through this yet this is kind of brand new but I'm really to, uh, I'm ready to put some rounds through it y'all already know how Hellcats shoot and it's a very concealable EDC so it's gonna be one of my everyday carries next one up is definitely my everyday carry it's a Glock 43X plain Jane You wear basketball shorts, pants, whatever. You put this on, unless somebody really looking, they're not going to know you got this on you. 43X, one of the best concealable everyday carries you can get. Next one up, it's a Glock 48, chamber in 9mm, with the red dot on there. Hold on, let me shake it, see if y'all can see it. A uh, eh, little bit green. I think y'all can see that green dot. But anyway, TLR7 flashlight. Got to have some type of uh, dressings on my guns. Some on plain Jane, but most of them got either a red dot on there or are going to have a light. Next one up. It's my Influencer by Gearsign 1911. Once again, I hear people saying they be having issues with them. And this is chambered in 10 millimeter. Big boy. People say they have issues with them with bad ammo, but to be honest with y'all, I've shot about mm, maybe 600 rounds through this right here with 10 from the best ammo to the cheapest shit, and it hasn't jammed, haven't had a malfunction, so I have no problems with it. Have no gripes with it. Never gave me an error, so not bad. Next one we got is my Walter PDP. Y'all already know. With the tech fire flashlight on there. Put about maybe a hundred rounds through it. Not too much. Just try to break it in. Haven't had a problem with it. Shoots like butter. So next one up, I have my Desert Eagle. Chambered in 40 millimeter. Always gotta have flashlight on there. Always got to dress it up. Next one up. It's a plain Jane. Glock 32 Gen 4. Chambered in 357. Haven't shot no rounds through this, to be honest with you. This is brand new. Been in the box. Collecting dust, so I got to take it out, show it some love. Next one up. is my FNN 9C. Tactical flashlight on there. Maybe got a hundred rounds through this. Haven't shot it that much either. So it's practically brand new. Next one up. It's my XP 45 ACP. Nice considerable gun by Springfield Armory. Almost like my 43X. But got a little bit more stopping power since it's chambered in 45. Uh, let me know. Let me know how I'm doing it. Drop that comment in the section below. Let me know is my uh, artillery looking uh, looking pretty decent. Next one up. I have the Glock 21 45 with the tactical flashlight on there. Plain Jane. Except for the light. To be honest, I haven't shot nothing through here yet. So this just been in the box. 
just chilling out, collecting dust. Got to show us some love. Next one up, Glock 20, 10 millimeter, another big boy. Maybe put about a box of ammo through this. So this is really practically brand new. So next one up is my Taurus G3C. I used to carry this every day until I got my 43X. But every now and then, I take it out and I carry it. Just to show us some love, just to let them know, you know, I still care about them. So, <laughs> what else we got? What else we got? We had a six hour SP 2022. I maybe put a hundred round through this. Gotta have a flashlight on there. Flat dark earth. All right, let's see, let's see. I think that's all the handguns. Oh, no, no, no. Let me stop. I have the Jericho Chamberlain 9 two tone with the flashlight. What y'all thinking? Remember, drop a comment in the section below. Let me know what my arsenal looking like so far. Up next, we got the Stroger Chamberlain 9 millimeter with the Tac Fire light on here. Maybe put about a hundred rounds through this. Still new. Next one up, another gear sign. 1911 style. Haven't put no rounds through this at all. Been sitting in the box. So definitely got to take it out to the range, show it some love. Next one up, my Terran Tactical Canic. Y'all already know what it is, man. Canic. Have some good shit and they tagged up with Terran Tactical. So, pff, can't go wrong with it. Plain Jane. But, ain't gonna be Plain Jane for too much longer. Let me go back over here. Another gear sign. This is called the Untouchable. Brand new. Still got the tag on here. So, you know I haven't put no rounds through this. All black. Nice grip. Nice stippling right there. Definitely get a good hold on this. But once again, haven't put no rounds through it, so gotta show it some love. And y'all already know, Prodigy, Springfield, with the Surefire light. Can't go wrong with it. I've carried this as my uh, everyday carry, but the only bad thing about this, man, once it's fully loaded with the light, it's a heavy ass gun. So you definitely got to have you a good holster or definitely wearing some jeans with a good tactical belt. If not, your shit going to be sagging because this is a heavy gun fully loaded with the light on here. So, all right, let's go to the pistols and some of the rifles. All right, got my Springfield. No, I'm sorry. Excuse me. This is my PSA. 5.56 five, pistol with the banana clip or well, banana magazine. Haven't put no rounds here yet, but definitely will. Definitely will. Got the I think it's the PSA also. 9mm pistol with the true glow red dot. Uh, I can see it. I don't think it's going to pick it up, but foldable stock. Got the Palmetto State Armory. Chambered in 5.56. No, 7.62, excuse me. My mistake. Uh, let me know what I'm working with so far. CZ Scorpion. You already know what that's chambered in now, Millery. With the tag on there. Haven't put no rounds with this yet. It's clear. Oh, just in case, I should have said that in the beginning. Everything is clear on here. Everything is clear. Uh, got the Draco. Y'all already know. 
think this is the micro Draco, if I'm not mistaken. It's the micro Draco. If I made a mistake, y'all let me know in the comment section below. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Right here is my little 300 blackout expandable brace. Red dot. Really haven't put no rounds for here either. This is brand new. So, let's see what else we got. Got my Chris Vector. Chambered in 45 caliber. Two tone. Got my Galil EOTech red dot on there. Once again, I want to know if y'all have any of the firearms that y'all see right here. Another CZ Scorpion. Foldable stock. PSA 9mm. Hollison Red Dot. Tactical Flashlight. Collapsible, uh, collapsible brace. Here come the mini Draco. Uh, let me know if I got those Dracos mistaken. Micro mini. I could be wrong. I could be right. But you know what I am right about? I got two Dracos. A 308. Rifle. With the Antoine scope. Oh, let me know. Let's see what else? Did I miss anything? Oh. My Zenith MP5. Oh shit. My Zenith MP5 clone. Everybody kind of stuck on names talking about, you know, I need a H and K MP5. But look, let me tell you something. I've put maybe a thousand rounds through this. Haven't had a malfunction. I've shot the best ammo to the cheapest shit. And I haven't had one jam, one malfunction, none of that. So if you want an MP5 and you can't afford the H and K one, go on. I highly recommend you look up Zenith. And get you one of these. They got great packages also. Comes with like three mags, a hard case, a sling, everything. I recommend that. Let's see what else. Oh. Have another root 308 Ruger rifle. True glow red dot on now. See what else. I'm gonna just pan out to this one. I got my Springfield Saint with the scope with the red dot combo. Also, tactical flashlight. So, also got another sniper rifle. Well, excuse me, a 308 rifle. Flat Dark Earth. And I'm going to pan out because I got to show you the last one. That's everything. That's everything. Also, I have the PSA Jackal Fire Field Scope. Also, tactical flashlight on here. Right here is what they call the poor man's FNN Scar. But let me tell you, ain't shit poor about this. I haven't put no rounds through it, but just researching it, seeing it fire, seeing how it works, ain't shit poor about this, man. Like I said, people get stuck up on names. Oh, I got to have an FN, I got to have an H&K, all that other shit. But these other companies out here make quality guns. 
And this right here, I'll put this up, up against a FNN scar any day. Haven't put no rounds through it. You see the tag still on there, but I will make a video of me throwing some rounds down range so y'all can see. But I guess that's about it so far. My 2024 gun collection, but best believe it will be a part two before the end of the year. Because I do have some old guns ordered. They're on the way. So, until then, I need y'all to stay dangerous. Stay safe. Stay lit and loaded. And I will see you on the next episode. Thank you.